Hi guys, it is Thursday afternoon. I went shopping with my mom yesterday, so I do have a haul to show you guys. Uh, first, I have some stuff at At Home. It was the first time I've ever been into that store, and it is massive. Went to Marshall's. Um, my mom got me some stuff just from different stores that I'll show you, and then I got some candles and wax melts at a company I just found. Um, it's called Goose Creek. Uh, I am going to start with the stuff my mom got just because it's random from random stores. I don't know where some of the stuff is from. Um, but the first thing she got me... Oh, okay, so this one's from Marshalls. She got me some hair clips. These are really good to do your makeup and put your hair back. So these were from Marshalls. Then she got me a little Christmas sweatshirt. This, I don't, I'm not too sure where she got it, but um, it's so cute. It's green, which is my favorite color other than black to wear. And then it has this red Christmas truck on it and it is cropped. So very excited about this, so cute. And then she also got me this like burnt orange long sleeve shirt from Marshalls. This would be great for Thanksgiving and this is thick. This is like a nice thick shirt and I love the sleeves are really long so they kind of bunch right here. But yeah, this is super cute, perfect for Thanksgiving. I don't know if I said but she got this at Marshalls. And then she actually picked me up another one of these um, blankets. I have one on my bed, as you guys know. But she just picked me up another one because they were on sale. I think they were like four bucks. These are from Walmart. But yeah, so I'm going to tuck this one away. Um, and then when that one gets like kind of old and dingy, I'll just replace it. And then this she got from Marshalls. I'm so excited about this, but it's a Jack Skellington uh, throw blanket. This is a Christmas blanket. So if you can see, sorry for the ring light glare, but um, it's just his face over and over again. And then some of his faces have um, a Santa hat. So that was the last thing. Oh, and it's not the last thing. She put it all in this little um, Marshalls like tote bag. These are so good for shopping, grocery shopping, but this one's probably one of the cutest ones I have. So we've got a new one of these. So thanks mom, love you. And then next I'll do at home. So I got all this stuff clearance. It was 50% off of all of the Halloween decor. Um, so you can tuck it away for next year and it'll be a nice little surprise. But the first thing I got, I got this for probably the bedroom or the couch i don't know who knows what mood i will be in next year but it's this like vintage style letter halloween pillow um i don't know i just i like vintage like halloween and christmas decor i just i don't know i really like it so this was um 50 off of 12.99 and then the back is just black um but yes, so I got that. And then the next thing is this little hand soap. My mom actually picked this one out. This was, oh, I don't know what the price of this was, but I know it was only a few dollars. I think it was like $3. So it just says uh, Itsy Bitsy hand soap. And then it says Eek up at the top. And there's just little cobwebs and... Um, spiders on it and also this you can refill it it doesn't have like a fall scent it's almost like fruity candy i don't know it smells really good so got that for next year oh right here so it was 50 percent off of six dollars so three bucks um and then i got two of these black and white striped candles these were each um four dollars because they were eight dollars so basically got two for one i love these anything black and white stripe reminds me of like tim Burton. so i thought these would be perfect 
And then I got this candle. This is so cool. It's a brain. Let me take it out of the packaging. And then I'll just put it back in. But this was $9, so 50% off of nine. Um, but it is a brain candle. It's so cool. And I didn't know, I, I'm not gonna light this. I'll keep it for as long as I can. And then it, if it ever gets like kind of gross or I don't know, um, I'll light it. But I didn't know it's a bleeding candle. So when you light it, it looks like it's it's gonna, it is bleeding. Um, so I just realized that because it says it on the tag. So I freaking love this. I think this is so cool. I should have gotten two, but it's okay. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited about this. Let me just put it back in the wrapper here. And then last thing I got are some Halloween coasters. Um, these were $8, so four. I'll show you each one. I actually took off the wrapping in the store because I didn't want to buy them if I didn't like each one. They're so cute so here's the first one it's like a little halloween town and then the second one i think this is my favorite one it's a black little ghost he's so cute i love ghosts i think ghosts are like my favorite halloween character <laughs> i don't know um and then this one's super cute too it just has a bunch of little characters on it, like Frankenstein, a witch, ghost, bats, cats, skeletons, jack-o'-lanterns. Um, what is that up in the corner? Oh my gosh, it's a little cat. That's so cute. I love that. And then this one, she's so cute. She's just a little witch living her absolute best life. I love these. They're so dang cute. So, yeah, I got those and that is it from at home and then we'll move on to goose creek so the first candle i got they have candles wax melts hand soaps body sprays um lotions all sorts of stuff but the first one i got is just marshmallows just gray with the little bowl of marshmallows i don't have the notes let me go grab my phone so I can read you the notes because they don't have them on the actual candle. So I will be right back. So the notes for marshmallow and I just realized I got four things and three of the things have are marshmallow. <laughs> so if that doesn't show you what kind of scents I like, I don't know what does. But the the ju just the marshmallow candle is uh, the top notes are warm vanilla bean. The middle notes are fluffy marshmallows and the base is toasted vanilla cream. This one smells almost like 99.9% .9 the same as marsh or Marshmallow Fireside from Bath & Body Works, which is my all-time favorite candle. It always will be. It's literally the best, but this smells exactly, exactly the same. Oh my gosh, I love these kind of smells. That's the first thing. The second thing is campfire marshmallow. These two smell very similar. This one is a little bit more like sweet maybe, but I don't know. They smell super similar. Uh, the notes for this one are warm vanilla bean, spun sugar, are the top notes the middle notes is fluffy marshmallow warring campfire and then the base notes are uh, toasted vanilla cream so it smells so good but they both smell identical to um, marshmallow fireside from Bath and Body Works and then the next one I got is warm and welcome and i got this one obviously is because there's a black cat on the packaging 
I have a black cat. Oh, I have a black cat, so obviously had to get it. Um, this one, the top notes are warm, glowing amber and vanilla. The middle notes are is sandalwood, and then the base is vanilla orchard, marshmallow cream, white mocha, vanilla, and creamy woods, which, yes, please. I can't describe this one. I'm bad at describing scents, but it smells like it's warm and welcoming, which is the name of the wax melt, but that's literally what it smells like. And then the last one is uh, marshmallow sugar. And this one, the top notes is fluffy marshmallow and batter. Mid notes is, let me adjust, hold on, sorry, my foot's falling asleep. The middle notes is warm vanilla bean, and then the base note is vanilla sugar and sweet cream. They all basically have the same but different, but these are just the scents I like, and I, to me, they're all different. So, this smells like cake batter and marshmallow. That's exactly what it smells like. It's very sweet. Like, I would eat it if I could. I'm not going to, obviously, but I would if I could. So, last thing is Marshalls. So, I got two Halloween things. The only reason I got these is because they were on sale. The first one, they're both mugs. So, this one is a black mug. And sorry for the glare. I don't know. There we go. It's a black mug with a skeleton holding jack-o'-lanterns and it has bats and a spooky tree. And then it has like the orange trim. And then it says eek right. Oh, geez. It says eek right here. This is only $2.50. That's why I got it. And then this one is, again, it's black. And it has just a bunch of different jack-o'-lanterns all over it. And I really liked this one because of the handle is just a square rectangle. Um, and it's like really comfortable to hold. And this one was $2.50. So yeah, I got those two things for next Halloween. Like I don't have enough Halloween mugs. And then I picked up these uh, Shiseido cotton squares. These are the best ever. You can only get them at Marshalls. I, I mean, I'm sh I don't know if you can get them at like TJ Maxx or anything like that. But I get them at Marshalls because Marshalls is the store that I go to out of like Ross, Marshalls, TJ Maxx. But these were $8 and these last me quite a while. Um... And they're just the best so I picked one of these up and then I picked up this perfume I only have I have like this much of my Bath and Body Works spray left and then I have just my roller perfume the uh, Burberry one that I wore my wedding so I need some more but this one it's the good scent I'm assuming is the brand and then the name is wild one it's vegan and cruelty-free fragrance oil. Um, it was, I don't know what is on it? It was $13 and yeah, of course, the reason I actually picked it up was because it was cheetah print. But yeah, and then the back's just the cheetah print as well. But it smells really good. And then I got a new, um, can opener. This is the KitchenAid one, but it's just this really pretty green, like sage. Is that sage green? I don't know. Um, but yeah, we just needed a new one of these. Ours is disgusting. So, um, yeah. And then I got another one of these headbands. I am like obsessed with the color green right now. Um, so this is green. That's why I got it. Um, this is was $4. It's really pretty. And the back is super wide, the band, which is nice because my hair is so much shorter now that like it, fall, it still falls in my face when I put it up and put one of these on. It still falls in my face. So um, yeah, got this one. 
and then these I got one last Christmas the first time I ever got one and I'm obsessed with it I can't use the tree hut scrubs they break me out and like not like a rash but I they I my body just does not my skin doesn't like them so um these two were uh 10.99 for two of them so this is the onyx bathhouse foaming body scrubs these are christmas scents obviously um the first one is sorry that was probably really loud um the first one is twisted peppermint and it's just two shades of green obviously it's peppermint scented what can you focus thank you and this smells so good um i did smell them in the car on the way home so you want to smell it again it just smells like peppermint so good so when my other one runs out i'll probably do this one um and then this next one is gosh dang uh gingerbread which is obviously gingerbread scented and it just has like a peachy color and then red pink um i've noticed that with gingerbread scents Nothing I've smelt so far that is uh, scented gingerbread smells like gingerbread, which I don't know why it's so hard to like make that scent smell like what it actually should smell like. This to me doesn't smell like gingerbread at all, um, like at all. At first I was like, ew, <laughs> but I think in the shower with the steam, I think this will smell really nice. I don't know how to describe what it smells like, but to me it doesn't smell like gingerbread. It almost smells like medicinal in a way, which is kind of weird, but we'll see. Maybe I'll use this one first. Maybe I'll use both of them at the same time. I don't know. We'll see, but I'm so excited about these because I love these exfoliators. They're the only ones that I've found so far that don't like kill my skin when I use them um, so yeah and then last but definitely not least I am so excited about this I've always wanted to do this and I want to do it for Halloween but I've just never seen a Halloween one um, it's a freaking Christmas shower curtain I'm so excited so it just has it's beige with just a bunch of different Christmas trees on it I'm, I'm so excited so yeah um hopefully it fits my shower i'm pretty sure it will 72 by 72 i'm pretty sure that's what standard shower curtain sizes are but this was um 16.99 which is surprisingly pretty good price for shower curtains that is one thing as an adult i learned that shower curtains are very expensive and i don't know why but that's okay. I'll have this for a long time. So. so yeah, I'm very excited about everything I got. I hope you guys enjoyed this little haul. Um, yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.